What is the solution set to the equation, um, system of equations x plus y equals 5 and x squared minus 25 equals y? Well, when these two things are equal to each other, um, that's their solution set. Now you can just plug these points in to see what's true, and whichever set has both points that work for both equations, um, that's the answer. But here, let's solve it algebraically. Subtract x from both sides here, so I get y equals 5 minus x. Oops, 5 minus x. And since 5 minus x equals y here, and x squared minus 25 equals y there, we're going to set them equal to each other to see when they meet. Okay. So here on the right-hand side, this is the difference of two squares. So we can quickly factor. Square root of x squared is x, square root of 25 is 5, and it's plus minus. And that equals 5 minus x. All right, so here, um, right, these two things are equal. What do we do next? Well, uh, what I would do is divide both sides by x minus 5. All right, excuse me. Go back a second. I was going to divide by x minus 5, but um, <laughs> what I'm trying to do is cancel out here. And that's just not, that's not working yet. Um, so let me go back. I'm going, to un I'm, going to not, I'm going to reverse, I'm going to not factor for a second. I'm going to instead add x and subtract 5. Usually with these kind of problems, it seems that the best step is to just get everything to one side first. These cancel out. This is 0. x squared plus x can't combine that. They're not like terms. Negative 25 minus 5 is minus 30. So what factors of, of 30, um, if you add them, get uh, positive 1? Well, 6 times 5 is 30. So positive 6 times negative 5 works because if we multiply those two, we get negative 30. And if we add them, we get plus 1. This equals 0. So that means that x plus 6 could equal 0. Subtract 6. x is negative 6. Or x minus 5 could equal 0. Add 5, and x equals 5. So the two points have to have the x values of 5 and negative 6. And if we plug in those values and get the into the line, which is easier to work with than the other one, we get the points. So our line 5 minus x. So if x is negative 6, we have 5 minus negative 6, which is 11. So one of our points is negative 6, 11. The other one 5 minus 5, which is 0. The other point then is 5, 0. We have two points now, negative 6, 11, and 5, 0. Choice two.